Welcome to UK Education and Travels. This is Farzana Karim from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today I am going to introduce our international outreach, NORA of Budapest Metropolitan University for the students admission and their visa processing nora will give us valuable information so i will request you to join with us and to uh, listen to nora very carefully and we will give you the bengali subtitle for your better understand how are you nora i'm fine nice to see you yeah, and I, I would love to welcome everybody in the show today. Okay, and uh, the whole Bangladesh, uh, and uh, the people of uh, Bangladesh are listening to us and they are very much interested to go to Hungary. Uh, can you introduce yourself to our students? Yeah, sure. So my name is Ms. Nora. Salam alaikum to, to all viewers today uh, and welcome to the show. I'm working at the university for three years, more than three actually, and I'm responsible for India, Nepal, Bangladeshi market, and I have wide uh, experience with the students uh, coming from this region. So stay tuned, stay with us, and I will tell you the details how you can come to Budapest, Hungary, and how you can maximize your uh, stay here in Europe. Thank you very much for your introduction. We are very much happy that you have given us time from your busy schedule. Uh, when, whenever I do marketing of Budapest Metropolitan University to our students, they have some queries to me. First of all, what are the unique qualities for which our Bangladeshi students will get admission in Budapest Metropolitan University? Mm -hmm. Yes, so firstly, I would love to ask you to have a look at your transcripts because the transcripts are the documents that we are checking first. So if your transcripts are above 60%, so 60% uh, or above, you have good chance to join our university. Also, the next point that you have to consider is your English language skills. Definitely English language skills will be needed. But don't worry if you don't have any IELTS language exam, because it's not mandatory for Budapest Metropolitan University. All you have to do is to face or Skype into you, answer a few questions, make your level best, and then you can get the admission. Uh, very, very nice. Then our students uh, will have some facilities from Budapest Metropolitan Universities. We think that what type of facilities you will give them? Yes, definitely. So we have a wonderful campus. Don't expect the campus to be that large uh, that you might uh, be seeing uh, across Asia or in Bangladesh itself. Our campus is a smaller one, but a cozy one, I would say. Uh, and we are really ha happy and proud of the, uh, of the initiatives that we are giving to students, which means that we are organizing them a lot of uh, various events. And I would love to share some insider info with you, uh, Bangladeshi students, that we also have an own cricket team. And some of our cricket uh, players are also or already qualified to be members of the Hungarian cricket team, and they are already uh, representing Hungary at international tournaments. Some of our students are, are uh, members of this uh, team. Uh, and uh, I'm really happy and inviting everybody to join this. Excellent, excellent. So we are going to have uh, some wonderful crit cricketers from our Bangladesh uh, as a representative of Hungary. That would be lovely, exactly. Yeah. Then our uh, question is uh, coming that um, some students uh, browse the website after meeting me. They tell me that uh, uh, look at uh, Madam, look at uh, the website. There is written uh, the one semester tuition fees. For example, uh, BSc in tourism and catering, two thousand seven hundred thirty-five euro. 
but uh, they don't know that uh, um, they will have to pay one year uh, one year semester fees uh, then uh, they are telling me that why uh, we should uh, pay one year there is written in website only one semester so can you clarify this Definitely, definitely. So when you are checking the prices of the uh, different programs, you will see the semester fees. So as you mentioned, the semester fees for a typical bachelor program uh, will reach 2,375 euros. That's absolutely correct. But don't forget that students who wish to join us, wish to come to Hungary, meaning that they wish to uh, stay in the Shenzhen zone for a longer time, they will have to face a visa interview. Uh, later on, I will get back to this visa interview, but to answer your questions, I would like to raise the point that the visa interview has different steps, different stages. At one, and at one stage, uh, the banking documents, the visa supporting documents of the students will be checked. And if during this checkpoint, it turns out that the student only paid one semester fee, the student can risk that the visa will be rejected because Hungarian immigration officers in line with the Schengen zone visa requirements will believe that the student's financial background is not solid, is not stable, so he only paid one semester fees. Uh, to secure uh, the admission to a university, we ask for two semester fees, so which means we ask for one complete year of tuition fee payment from all students. So this is only a security for students to make sure that they can get the admission and they can get the visa to, uh, to Hungary. Uh, the students are very much afraid of the, uh, the, uh, the refund policy that after getting a refusal from the embassy, uh, how will they get the money back? Mm -hmm. Yes, well, uh, I understand that the, this fear is coming from uh, maybe bad experience from other universities yeah. uh, that uh, take a lot of time to refund the money. I know, uh, obviously I have you also heard about this, but Budapest Metropolitan is the biggest private university of Hungary. We are located in, in, in Hungary, in Europe. Uh, believe me, we cannot play tricks. And uh, this would be uh, definitely a breach of the law because we uh, put it black and white in the conditional acceptance letter of the students that in case of visa rejection, we pay them uh, the refund back. So students are, I understand that they are risking uh, that yes, they have to invest the money, obviously, and the time as well. But uh, naturally, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a risk that uh, students have to take to get the admission to the Shenzhen zone. So don't worry, uh, you will get the money back as a refund. Thank you very much. So I will request the guardians and the students that uh, uh, you should not be afraid of uh, the money which you, ha you will have to pay to the di to directly. You will not uh, have, you don't uh, give me money. I'm representative of Budapest Metropolitan University, but you did not give me money. You will just uh, send to the university by your student account. And of course, they will refund your money if, uh, in case of your um, visa rejection. And then uh, the students, uh, many times, many students um, are from middle class family, but uh, they have collected money uh, to be uh, good, um, to build a good career, and they want uh, to uh, study in Hungary for the European standard. Uh, education. So they, uh, is this, is it possible for them that they will uh, get opportunity to do a part-time job in Hungary? Yes, yes. The good news is that uh, students who join us, who come uh, to Budapest Metropolitan and to Hungary, uh, have the opportunity to work or and do part-time jobs. Students can work uh, as much as 20 hours per week 
and by working 20 hours per week, they can cover uh, roughly half of their uh, living expenses. Living expenses in Hungary will be something like 500 euros, and by working 20 hours per week, students will be able to cover either food or their accommodation. So as I mentioned, the, uh, the daily living expenses per month will be 500 euros, approximately half will uh, be on accommodation and the other half will cover food. And um, what type of programs in Budapest Metropolitan Universities are available which are very much suitable for our Bangladeshi students? So basically the university is offering four, kind, uh, four academic fields, if you want, which is business, communication, tourism and arts. When it comes to Bangladeshi students, majority of them will either go for business or for tourism. We also have a few students in the communication and in the art uh, faculties, but that's not really frequent. I know that majority will opt for business and tourism. Okay, and uh, another thing is that um, how, um, this uh, for February intake, this uh, intake, uh, February intake 20 to 21, uh, is there any facilities, is there any waiver for the students to get admission in case of their tuition fees? Yes, yes. So the good news is uh, that students have uh, roughly one more week, a bit more than a week uh, to apply. And uh, now I would love to uh, ask each and every student who is uh, watching our video today to consider the application. Don't wait, don't wait. Uh, because uh, we have a very special offer who, uh, for the viewers of this uh, show or this recording today. The offer is that uh, students who are applying through uh, the organization can get 10% discount from the uh, tuition fees of their first semester. So 10% discount from the first semester tuition fees if you apply today and uh, turn to the uh, counselors of EUCA uh, agency. Please uh, remember that uh, all counselors are trained counselors of Budapest Metropolitan University. They are the trusted partners of the university. They know their procedures and they will be able to help you uh, to uh, pass the Skype into you first. And then uh, they will also guide you how to uh, make sure that you can get the visa to Budapest Metropolitan University. So don't forget that if you apply today, you can get your OUN, you are eligible for the 10% discount. Also, uh, I want to mention a wonderful opportunity for Bangladeshi students because we have a merit-based scholarship. The merit-based scholarship is uh, available for each and every Bangladeshi students. All you have to do is to apply today and indicate it on uh, your online application form uh, that you are running for the scholarship. The scholarship is merit-based, not social-based, so you have to be proud of this. So don't, uh, please remember that you don't have to be shy when you are looking for or are running for a scholarship, because this one is based on your merit. What we will check is the documents that you are supplying to us and the Skype interview performance that you are uh, showing to us during the Skype. So what you can expect during the Skype interview? The Skype interview uh, will have four parts. First part is just ice breaking, chit chatting with me or my colleagues, like, how are you today? What's your name? May I have your mother's name? How old are you? Uh, how is the COVID situation in your city right now? Is everybody safe and healthy in your family? Because we really want to get to know more about you. The second part is going to be the most important, I would say, and I would love to ask you to pay the most attention to this part. In this part, we will ask you some questions regarding the academic program that you wish to study. For example, if you want to study business at our university, we will ask you a number of questions related to businesses. On the other hand, if you want to study tourism, we will ask you about tourism. But let's see the questions. What questions you may expect? 
questions will be really, really uh, down to earth practical questions. For example, from tourism students, I will ask, okay, so do you remember the, the, the hotel that was the most luxurious that you have ever visited? Why did you visit this hotel? Was there a wedding or a family event or other function of the day? Can you please describe me the lobby of this uh, hotel? How do you remember that? Uh, who were the officers there? Do you perhaps know what the concierge is responsible for in a hotel? If you want to work in a hotel, what would be your ideal uh, position there? Why? So as you can see, we will ask you a lot of questions regarding tourism and hoteling because we want to find out why you exactly want to study this. The third part of the interview will be like a mini uh, visa interview that you can expect uh, either in Delhi or in uh, Dhaka. So during this uh, stage of the interview, we will ask you, all right, so who is going to sponsor you? Why did you choose Budapest Metropolitan University? Why Hungary and why not Poland, for example? Why don't you stay uh, in Bangladesh? to have your uh, higher education studies. What is the currency of Hungary? What language do Hungarians speak? And so on and so forth. Believe me, I have hundreds of questions regarding the university, regarding Hungary, and the link between you and Hungary. The fourth part of the Skype interview is an online mathematical test. I know it can be a nightmare for many, but believe me, this is part of your protocol. And if you want to become a businessman, a very bit, uh, good piece of advice and a friendly hint from me, you have to be uh, in great friendship with the numbers, with the figures. Because if you are a businessman, you have to do calculations all the time in your head. So what we will ask, some basic uh, algorithms, uh, linear equations, percentage calculations, and so on and so forth. You will have 30 minutes, eight questions, multiple choice. Don't worry, it's just high school mathematics. If you are all over this and the, the interview was successful, you are already in at the university. So don't forget that we offer scholarship to the students. The scholarship is 1,000 euros per, uh, for the first year. So you can save 1,000 euros if you run for the scholarship and you get the scholarship. So remember to get the scholarship, you have to speak very good English, excellent English, and you have to be really persuasive at this time to you. Uh, thank you so much uh, to clarify, uh, to ask uh, in detail about the Skype interview steps. And uh, will you, uh, um, from my side now, uh, definitely I will have to um do my marketing uh, of my company that is uk education and travels will you recommend my company to the students of bangladesh and if that uh, why yes definitely uk travel is a trusted partner of uh, of the university they already have a few students in the pipeline for us the uh, miss Fazana understands the the procedures of the of the university and uh, students now i'm talking to you if miss Fazana is telling you that okay you will need some more training before you are facing the interview with miss nora or the colleagues please take her advice she knows what she's saying she wants the best for you Maybe uh, what she's saying uh, can be uh, newsome to you or, or uh, you find it tiring or, or you don't understand why she's saying to collect one more document. Believe me, she's doing it because she wants the best for you. She understands the, the procedures and she wants to make sure that you can go to Hungary. You can secure your uh, seat at Budapest Metropolitan University. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you uh, so much that uh, you are recommending me. And uh, another uh, thing I I wanna to, um, I wanna add with it because uh, uh, in case of math, which you have told that uh, it's uh, one kind of nightmare for our students because they are very much afraid of math, uh, as they have practiced the math in Bengali, they don't understand the um, English term. 
so for this reason they have a nightmare but uh, i will ensure the students that if you uh, want to uh, get admission in budapest metropolitan university i will make you learn the english terms of mathematics because i have the experience of 10 years uh, lecturer in english version college where i will have to uh, do uh, english uh, lectures and uh, the thing is that uh, sometimes i will have to uh, take the classes uh, of science and mathematics in english term uh, as a proxy class uh, because uh, my background is from science up to 12 plus and in every science and math subjects i had got 90 up numbers uh, more than 90 percent numbers i have got in my 12 plus uh, science and math subjects then i quit uh, i uh, just changed my subject into english honors and masters so i will ensure our students that if you uh, get admission if you want to apply to budapest metropolitan university you can get every type of help from me as i have been trained up and uh, my trainer is a great trainer nora and i'm very much grateful to her that uh, she has come in my uh, zoom conference and she has uh, told us the every uh, detail about the first metropolitan university so uh, i will uh, um, end this program uh, with uh, nora's advice um, for the last time Yes, again, thank you for the for the kind invitation. It's it's always my pleasure to talk to to Bangladeshi students, Bangladeshi uh, parents, because I understand that you might have a lot of questions. It's it's just natural. Uh, it's a major decision where you are sending your uh, your son or daughter to. Believe me, Budapest Metropolitan is a wonderful place. Hungary is a great study destination. Uh, Hungary offers wonderful opportunities. And very, very importantly, Hungary is a, uh, is a value for your uh, money destination. I would say, yes, it's cheap, but yet it offers uh, good quality services to the students and good quality life. So everybody is welcome. Please don't forget my piece of advice that if you apply today, you will be eligible for the 10% discount. So please turn to UCA Travels and they will guide you through. And especially thank you, Ms. Fazana, for inviting me to, uh, for today's show. And another thing is that uh, the students can have the facilities to credit transfer from Hungary to another country, isn't it? Yes, true. Uh, please don't forget about this. This is a wonderful opportunity. Students can also go to the UK um, because we have a special credit transfer program the the whole program is uh, about uh, a very flexible uh, approach i would say that students can start their studies here in hungary they study here for two years at a lower tuition fees and after two years they can decide if they want to go uh, or want to stay here in hungary and get the budapest metropolitan degree or they want to transfer to the uh, partner of budapest metropolitan to northumbria also, we are offering students uh, the Erasmus Plus Mobility Program, which means that they can, uh, again, pay the lower fees of Budapest Metropolitan, but they can have access to a number of other uh, universities, which are our partner universities across Europe. Thank you so much. And uh, um, hope, uh, we hope that you will come again in our next program. And we will do live uh, with you and with our students and guardians. Yes, that will be wonderful. So, inshallah, we can talk uh, soon. Inshallah.